you're just coming to visit or what? Yeah, I got homesick. Homesick? Yeah. But you don't live here. Well, the wife's telling me to do this and do that and do this and do that. <laughs> and that's not retirement. You got sick of home. Yeah, I got ah, sick I of see. Home. So not really homesick. See, the English is so Oh, uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah I, yeah, I think I've had a little extra wine. <laughs> You've been bugged for everything now. Well, you're not working. Why don't you fix this? Why don't you fix that? That's broken. That's broken. But this get off the bed. You like too much. This Sleeping happens too much. But I do. This happens to me, and I am working full time. I still get that. Oh. Oh, there you are, squirreled away, making a video with your dad. You know, why don't you come and wash the dishes? I mean, you have to take control of your wife. So how does one do that? Dominate. Dominate. <laughs> I like you have, huh? Well, I got dominated by your mother. Right, yeah. I see the leash is still on you. Yeah. Um, not that kind of dominated people. Come on. Mind out of the gutter. Okay. But you brought home with you because my mom is here. Correct. So, I'm doing the math on this and it's at 2 plus 2 is equaling 6. Maybe 7. <laughs> what do you think about the, the new uh, laws with the residents now that they, they have to take naps and... You know, they can't stay up all night. Number one, I think it's a good idea. Number two, I feel a little sorry for my son because now he has to work more. And he has to work for his money. That's my opinion. So you think it's better? You think the doctors are going to learn how to be doctors? I don't think so. I think they're lazy uh, bombs. And I don't know what your training was like. Well, I worked harder. What did you have to do? Well, when I was moonlighting, I was moonlighting 36 hours in a row. 36 hours, 12 hours here, 12 hours there, and in between I did my residency too. What were you moonlighting for? To make money to put you through college. But I must have been an infant at that point. Yeah, but I planned ahead. But I went to Berkeley, it was practically free. Where's that money? Oh, well, I may... I want to know where all this moonlighting money is that has been hot, hidden from me. I've never taken a dime beyond room, board, gifts. <laughs> college, med school, a lot of my mortgage uh, currently. In high school, you had me driving a, uh, a Volvo station wagon, correct? No, it was a regular Volvo. A regular Volvo. Why did you choose Volvo, I'm curious? Like any caring father, prefers safety. If by safety you mean contraception, because no girl would ever want to date me because I was driving a Volvo, then yeah, yes. Yeah, that was the purpose. That worked, thank you, uh, thank you for that. So do you drink coffee these days or what are you doing to stay awake? No, I stopped drinking coffee. Coffee has carcinogens. Coffee causes cancer. Coffee also has caffeine. It keeps you awake. Well, that part is true. Now, not only are you dying, but you're awake and watch yourself go. There was some data recently that coffee makes you live longer if you don't drink too much of it, though. Yes. They say it stops or prevents Alzheimer's. Hmm. But you ask a cardiologist and you say coffee causes heart attacks. Which cardiologist? Dr. Oz? He's, he's the gold standard, I understand, of medical care. Do you watch him? I watch him. You do? But I think he's a fake. What's fake about him? Everything he says is a fake. Oh, I celebrate his entire catalog. Reiki and all this other stuff. He's in the business of making money. Maybe you should try that.